Joe Shane and the New York football Giants have made another move, and I am calling it a steal. The Giants are trading for edge rusher Carlos Boogie Basham from the Buffalo Bills. It will be a swap of late round picks in the 2025 NFL draft. In today's video, we're going to let you know everything you need to know about Boogie Basham. Also, the Giants have made even more roster cuts, so we will keep you in the loop on what this Giants football team looks like as they get closer and closer to that 53-man roster deadline. Let's start with the biggest news of the day, though. Tom Pelissero, NFL Network, broke it just a couple of minutes ago, saying the Giants and Bills will swap late-round draft picks in 2025 as a part of the Giants trade for Boogie Basham, a second-round pick in 2021 who played in 23 games for Buffalo. We're going to dive into the stats for Boogie in just a second, but this is why you subscribe to New York Giants now by Chat Sports. Because when the Giants make a move, we make a video. Giants cut anybody, we make a video. We go live every single game day on Sunday. We put out content every day. And I promise you this, no other Giants channel on YouTube will put out more content than we do. So if you love the Giants and want free content every day, hit that sub button and help us get to 32,000 subs. The goal is to get there by week one, Sunday Night Football against the Cowboys. So the trade for Boogie Basham is a much needed one. We've talked about it time and time again on this channel that the Giants needed to add more edge rushers, more defensive linemen on the edge to this roster, and really more players that have done it at a high level. And Boogie Basham may not be that guy, but he has a lot of potential. Six foot three, 275, 280 pounds. He's going to play on the edge for the Giants. Throughout his NFL career, he's played in 15 games. I know it says 2022 stats at the top. Those are career, or that is, that's career stats. It's career stats, excuse me. He's played in 23 games in his career. 37 tackles, five tackles for loss, four and a half sacks in eight quarterback hits. Boogie Basham is someone that at the NFL Combine tested through the roof. He had a 9.3 RRAS score, which is as high as you can get. Had a vertical jump of 34. Weighed in at six foot three, 275 pounds. Ran a 4.640. He is someone that can come off the edge, put pressure on the quarterback. Struggled a little bit to stay healthy throughout his young career, but when you're just swapping late round picks for a player, uh, it's a good move for the Giants, and I am happy that it is. I know people are always worried about the salary cap for the Giants. Well, Joe Shane finds a way to manipulate the cap while also adding a talented individual. Boogie Basham will only be counting against $1.09 million on the cap this year and $1.3 million in 2024. You know the saying that relationships go a long way? That holds true in every walk of life. Notice, it's the Giants and it's the Bills. Why does that matter? Because general manager Joe Shane for the Giants was once the assistant general manager for the Buffalo Bills under Brandon Bean. And I'm sure Brandon Bean told him, hey, we're going to cut him. If you guys want him, let's just swap late round picks in the 2025 draft. Not the 2024 draft. 2025. The Giants had the 26th spot in the waiver wire. So maybe if they did waive, they being the Bills waived uh, Boogie Basham, he wouldn't have got to the Giants at slot number 26. So Joe Shane calls his buddy and gets the deal done. So this is the most updated look, to my knowledge, of what the defensive line depth chart is going to look like. And I'll tell you this much. There's a whole lot more potential and talent on this picture and on this graphic than there was just a couple of months ago. Kayvon Thibodeau, Leonard Williams, Dexter Lawrence, Ashawn Robinson, and Zizo Jolari. I will continue to say that that is the best front five in the National Football League. Then you got guys like Boogie Basham, Jordan Riley, seventh-round pick, who is impressing. Rakeem Nunez Roches, who I'm excited about. Super Bowl champion with the Bucks, run-stuffing defensive tackle. Jihad Ward. But Boogie Basham reminds me of a younger, more athletic Jihad Ward. Really good against the run. Can, up, can you know, get better as a pass rusher, but he's going to fit like a glove in Wink Martindale's defense. I could also include Isaiah Simmons on this depth chart, as he is someone that I believe will blitz off the edge a whole time. Lot. We're going to get to the rest of the roster cuts that Joe Shane has made today, but first I want you to light up the comment section. Give me your one-word reaction to the Boogie Basham trade. For me, it's value. I might even go Boogie because I was dancing when I got the notification. Let me know what you think, though, your one-word reaction to the Boogie Basham trade. All righty. 
Let's close out the show just kind of updating everyone on all the cuts the Giants have made so far. And there were some today that were a little bit upsetting. Tommy DeVito has been released by the New York Giants. I do expect him to be brought back to the practice squad unless there's some 31 team, there's a team among the 31 rest of the National Football League teams that thinks he can be a QB3 on an active roster. I expect him to be back. David Sills has been cut by the Giants. That is new, and that is coming across the wire. Uh, I feel bad for David Sills. You know, every year it seems like he balls out in that third, fourth preseason game and then ends up getting cut. Tyree Phillips is a new cut. Really been dealing with injuries so far through camp. Started last year a couple of games when Evan Neal got hurt. He's going to be gone. And the one I'm most upset about today, and we'll fly through the rest of these, Jay Sean Corbin. He was a player that I believe in this. In the National Football League, you earn roster spots. And Jay Sean Corbin did that. He was no doubt about it, the, just the best Giants running back in preseason. He outplayed Eric Gray. He outplayed uh, every other running back that played for the Giants. He was the best one. Obviously, Robinson uh, got cut as well. Corbin, I'd like to see him back on the practice squad, but I could see, see a team like the Colts, who might trade Jonathan Taylor, scoop him up, because I do think he has NFL potential. Chris Myrick, add to the IR. Bryce Ford Wheaton. Add to the IR. O'Shane oh, Zimenez, that's a new cut as well. A little bit shocking, but we've talked about it on the, on the channel. Uh, Zimenez is a guy that just doesn't have much pop. Crowder cut Robinson as well as Colin Johnson. We've broke those down on prior videos. Other roster cuts. Donovan Jeter, Jack Anderson. A little bit upset about Habakkuk Baldonado. I thought he flashed in that first preseason game. UDFA out of Pittsburgh. Um, I think he could land on the practice squad, but you never know. Everyone watches tape and they saw what he did. Wyatt Davis. Thank God he's off this football team, and Zion Gilbert are no longer here. Other roster cuts, Kevin Atkins, Tayshawn Bauer, Deontay Johnson, long snapper Cam Lyons, and Brandon Bryant. Those are the first 20 cuts. The Giants have cut up to 26 players at this point, including Khalil Peppleton, Jaden Mickens, Darren Evans, Darren, Darren Evan, excuse me, Julian Davenport, Corey Cunningham, and the most recent one, which I am also a little bit upset about, is... Tom and Fox. That'll be 12 seeps because uh, we added a new one. Tom and Fox has been released by the Giants. He was a UDFA coming out of 2022 NFL draft. Uh, I liked what he did for the Giants last year in limited opportunities. I thought he had some juice coming off the edge. But with the additions of Boogie Basham as well as Isaiah Simmons, maybe the Giants don't think they need another project edge rusher. So 12 more moves for the Giants to come. Following the, uh, following the moves today, 12 more to come. I'm going to take a look at my Twitter timeline real quick to make sure no other moves have come across the wire. And then we'll just go through the rest of these depth charts to kind of give you a look at who's on the roster and who I think might get cut. These two guys are safe. QB1, QB2, Daniel Jones, Tyrod Taylor. Then you look at the defensive line depth chart. All guys that are pictured are safe. If there's any seat that is hot, it's either Ryder Anderson or or DJ Davidson, I think they might just keep one of those guys. Now you look at the offensive line depth chart. I think most of these guys are safe. Obviously the ones that pictured are Thomas Bredesen, Michael Schmitz, Glinski, and Neal, as well as Matt Peart and Marcus McKeithen and Joshua Zudu. I think there's one more spot available for Sean Harlow and Shane Lemieux. One of those guys will make it. One of those guys will get cut, in my opinion. Look at this wide receiver depth chart. There used to be 15 names on here. We're down to seven. Hodgins, Shepard, Wandale Robinson is going to be elevated off the pup. Darius Slayton, Paris Campbell, Jalen Hyatt, and Cole Beasley. I believe those are going to be the seven wide receivers that will be on this football team week one. Still moves to be made at the tight end spot. Darren Waller and Daniel Bellinger are going to make it. I think Lawrence Cager will be tight end three. Then the UDFA Jones, I think, will be gone. And Tommy Sweeney, not sure exactly what his spot is right now, considering the health scare that he had at practice just a couple of days ago. Hope all is well. Running back depth chart. They're going to roll with three. Barkley, Brita, Eric Gray. I wish Jay Sean Corbin was on this list. He has earned this spot, but life's not fair, and I learned that at a young age. Very, very sad. The safety spot. I think there's going to be a cut here as well. I think Cook is going to be gone, and I think Bobby McCain also might be gone, but I would say McKinney, Pinnock, and Belton, all obviously safe. Would love to see Gervarius Owens make it, but I think one or two more cuts could be coming here. Then you look at the cornerback depth chart. Deontay Banks, Dory Jackson, Trey Hawkins. They are all safe. Cordell Flott is going to make the team. Darnay Holmes restructured his contract to make the team. I think Amani Ruwarie and Jimon Green uh, are still find themselves 
maybe on the bubble. We'll continue to update you if we get more news there. At the linebacker position, I think one more move is coming here. Okereke, McFadden, Simmons, and Beavers are all safe. Comes down to Carter Coughlin or Cam Brown. They could keep both of those guys, but I think one of them, unfortunately, will be getting the call to bring their playbook to Joe Shane's office. As always, I just want to say thank you, and I appreciate everybody for tuning in to New York Giants now. Make sure you are subscribed, because I promise you, no other channel on YouTube is going to keep you this up to date on Giants News, and that's what we're all looking for. So subscribe, turn your notifications on, and if you haven't yet, hit that thumbs up icon.